honorons de pouvoir partager encore avec vous uh, l'étude biblique de ce soir. We are very happy to once again be able to share with you the Bible study of this evening. Bienvenue à Facebook Live ou en différé. Welcome to you all that follow us, whether through Facebook Live or at a later time. Uh, nous espérons que ces études bibliques sur cette série concernant les cités de refuge est une bénédiction pour vous. We hope that this Bible study and this series And especially an encouragement. Dans ces moments troubles où beaucoup de personnes par rapport au bouleversement qui est en train de s'opérer à travers le monde. And especially a moment where many people find those marks again. Mais gloire au Seigneur car la parole de Dieu uh, est une lumière pour ceux qui se confient. The word of God is a light for those that confide in him. Et une lampe à leurs pieds pour les éclairer dans les moments sombres et obscurs de l'humanité. And a lamp at their feet to enlighten them in a... Alors, oh, ce soir, nous allons clôturer notre série sur les villes des refuges. So this evening, we'll finish our series of the cities of refuge. Et on va voir la sixième ville des refuges. Et comme nous ne cessons de les répéter à travers cette série, And as we keep repeating it in this series, ces villes de refuge, those cities of refuge, those are met meta metaphors and illustrations, qui nous parlent au fait de la personne et de l'œuvre de notre Seigneur Jésus-Christ that speak to us about the person and the work of Jesus Christ. Mais ça nous révèle également, nous en tant que croyants, en tant que chrétiens, as believers, les plans de Dieu à, à travers son Fils, the plan of God through his Son, qui réalise à travers tous ceux qui croient et placent leur confiance en la personne et à de that you realize through all the people that believe. Et um, nous allons juste uh, prier un moment avant de pouvoir passer à, à cette étude. And we'll just pray a little before we start this study. Seigneur, nous te disons merci parce que tu as été avec nous depuis le début de cette série sur les villes de refuge. Lord, we say And you give us the grace to finish this series today. Merci Seigneur pour mon frère, ma soeur, à qui tu as voulu communiquer ton plan et ta volonté parfaite à travers cette étude. Thank you for my brother and sister to whom you wanted to communicate your perfect will through this study. Um, Just through this study this evening. Et instruis-nous Seigneur dans ton plan merveilleux and instruct us in your marvelous plan that you have for us. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Joshua chapter 20, verse 8. C'est là où on cite les villes des refuges. This is where they quote the cities of refuge qui étaient situées de l'autre côté du c'est-à-dire le côté est du Jourdain. The east side of the Jordan. La Bible dit, de l'autre côté du Jourdain, à l'Orient de Jéricho, ils choisirent Bethser dans le désert, dans la plaine, dans la tribu de Ruben, Ramoth en Galad, dans la tribu de... dans la tribu de Manassé. And on the other side, Jordan, by Jericho eastward, they assigned Bezer in the wilderness upon the plain out of the tribe of Reuben, and Ramoth in Gilead out of the tribe of Gad, and Golan in Bashan out of the tribe of Manasseh. Aujourd'hui, nous allons parler de la cité de refuge qui 
Today we'll speak about the, cities of, the city of refuge that was called Golan. Cette ville des refuges. That city of refuge. Je ne sais pas pourquoi elle est mentionnée dans la liste parmi la, la, par, parmi la dernière ville des refuges. I don't know. It's mentioned as the last one. Dieu sait. God knows. Golan sera la sixième ville, ville ou la, la troisième cité de refuge du côté de l'Orient. Golan will be overall Jordan. La Bible dit qu'elle était située à Bassan dans la tribu de Manassé. The Bible said that it was found in Bashan, out of the tribe of Manasseh. La tribu de Manassé, c'est une demi-tribu. The tribe of Manasseh was a half tribe. Uh, Manasse était un des fils. Il était au fait l'aîné. He was the elder one. Et Ephraim était le cadet. And Ephraim was the younger one. Et on sait très bien que quand And we all know that when Jacob wanted to bless his great his grandsons, uh, il a béni les cadets he blessed the younger one avec la bénédiction de l'aîné. With the blessing of the elder, elder one. Alors que je me disais, mais non, papa, écoute, c'est Manassé qui est l'aîné qui mérite cette bénédiction. But no, um, Manassé is the older one. He should have the blessing of the elder. Uh, mais Dieu savait ce qu'il était en train de faire à travers Jacob. But God knew what he was doing through Jacob. On sait très bien que la, la tribu des uh, sur uh, um, Manasseh. We all know that the tribe of Ephraim will have pre preeminence over the tribe of Manasseh. Et d'ailleurs, lorsqu'on parle de um, Ephraim dans certains récits prophétiques, and as we speak of Ephraim in some Prophetic risk. Cette tribu est devenue um, représentative de dix tribus du nord. This tribe became the representative of ten tribes of the north. Uh, dans certaines prophéties, um, le royaume du nord. In certain bi biblical prophecies, Ephraim is represented as the kingdom of north. Et Judas représentait le royaume du sud. And Judah was the kingdom of South. Bref, um, la ville de Golan ou la cité de refuge de Golan était située sur le territoire de Manasseh. In other words, in other words, the city of Golan situé dans uh, un territoire spécifique. It was, and it was found in a special place in the tribe of Manasseh. Uh, dans une district de Bassan. In one of the districts of Bassan. I will come back to the place where was situated this of refuge. I will come back later to the place where that city of refuge was found. Bref. Colan. But that city of refuge was called Golan. Et je pense que pour ceux qui suivent l'actualité ou ceux qui sont vraiment à jour avec les infos, and I believe that for those that are following the news very carefully, on sait très bien que uh, ce nom revient très souvent dans les in the news. Et, et spécialement, on parle du plateau de Golan. And specifically, we speak of the plateau of Golan. Uh, 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 in English, uh, it says uh, Golan Heights. In English, Golan Heights. Okay. Golan, c'était un endroit de vive tension, et c'est toujours un endroit de vive tension. And this place, Golan Heights, was a place where there were a lot of tension, and still is, by the way. Comme vous savez, c'est vraiment uh, un territoire qui est situé um, à la As you know, it is a territory that is found on the, on, at the border between Israel and Syria. Oui, qui est occupé par uh, uh, Israël. That is occupied by Israel. Mais aussi en même temps réclamé par les Syriens comme leur, uh, leur territoire. But that is claimed by the 
Et je ne vais pas rentrer dans l'histoire comment est-ce que Israël a pu um, avoir ces territoires. And I'm not going to details on how Israel got this territory. Et, et pourquoi enfin l'occuper. And how they could occupy it. But what is true is that in the story of Israel, when they came out of the promised land, they started to travel through the desert. And while Moses was still alive, the people of Israel into the promised land. Dans la terre promise, c'est vrai que c'est 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 un peu euh, euh, paradoxal d'après l'histoire biblique qu'on connaît. It's true that in the promised land it is kind of paradoxal compared to the Bible story Souvent, we know. Quand on pense au peuple d'Israël entrer dans la terre promise, on voit Josué. When we Mais speak of Joshua, ceux qui ont commencé à étudier ces livres de Josué avec nous dès le début. But for those that study this book of Joshua from the beginning with us, vous allez probablement vous souvenir que là du Jourdain, you will probably remember that the eastern part of the Jordan était déjà occupé ou um, con, conquise par uh, les enfants d'Israël. The eastern part had already been conquered by the children of Israel under Moses. Et donc Moïse avait permis aux deux tribus ennemies de pouvoir occuper les territoires est de l'autre côté du Jourdain. So Moses had already the eastern part of the Jordan. En d'autres termes, la tribu de Ruben, la tribu uh, de Gad. Et la demi-tribu de Manassé occupait déjà cette partie-là euh, de la terre promise. In other words, the tribe of Gilead, the tribe of Reuben, and the half tribe of Manassé were already. Que les enfants d'Israël vont traverser le Jourdain et commencer à conquérir les côtés ouest du Jourdain. It's only under Joshua that the children of Israel would cross the Jordan and start to conquer the western part of the Jordan. a commencé avec Moïse. That is why I'm saying that the introduction in the promised land started with Moses. Parce que parfois on, on, on se dit ah oh non mais parce que Moïse n'est jamais entré dans la terre promise il a seulement vu de, au loin la terre promise et Dieu into the promised land he just saw it from afar and then God took him. <laughs> Théoriquement il n'a pas eu l'occasion de passer de l'autre côté du Jourdain. But theoretically speaking, he never got the chance to cross the Jordan. Mais du moins, il avait déjà vu qui devait revenir à Israël être conquise. But technically, he had already saw the part of the promised land that should be conquered. Le côté ouest du Jourdain, mais également le côté est. Because the promise is in not just what was west on the, of the Jordan, but also what was east of it. Okay, les enfants d'Israël, quand ils sont sortis de l'Égypte et se dirigeaient vers la terre promise, so the children of Israel, when they came out of Egypt and went for the promised land, specifically the eastern side, and ils ont commencé à conquérir, and as they started conquering it, un des rois qu'ils ont rencontré sur le chemin vers la terre promise. One of the kings they met on their way to the promised land. C'était le roi Og. Giant. C'était un Raphaïm. He was an he was a Raphaïm. C'était un géant. Et lorsque vous lisez euh, les livres, je crois des 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 Odes, non, des Ternon. It was a giant. And if you read the book of Exodus. They will describe you how impressive that king was. Et les enfants d'Israël ont battu ce roi Og. And the children of Israel defeated that king Og. Et ils ont pris Bashan. And they took Bashan, a place that was controlled by this king. Et c'est ce territoire là qu'occupait Og. 
ces géants This was the territory that all the giant was occupying. Va être attribué à Manassé. And then it will be given to Manassé. Et c'est à Bashan sur ces And it is at Bashan on this territory where the king Og once reigned. Que la ville des refuges Golan va être située. That the city of refuge Golan will be established. And as you know, that city of refuge was a city of refuge for all those that were found guilty. And threatened by the, the avenger of blood. Dans cette ville des réfugiés qui était sur le territoire de Bashan. To go to that city of refuge that was on the territory of Bashan. And what does it mean, Golan? Ce qui est intéressant lorsque vous cherchez la signification de ces mots Golan. What is funny here is that when you search the meaning of Golan. Vous verrez que c'est un You will see that it is a word that has two origin. Uh, two origin in Hebrew. D'un côté, il y a le mot captivité. On one side, there is the word captivity. Et de l'autre côté, il y a le mot joie ou réjouissance. And on the other side, there is. C'est vraiment paradoxal. D'un côté, dans un seul mot. Vous avez deux sens ou deux significations. It is really paradoxical because you have two meanings for a single word. Vous avez d'un côté la joie. On, on one side you have joy. Et de l'autre côté vous avez la captivité. And on the other side you have captivity. Um, <laughs> la description du prophète Simeon au sujet de Jésus. And I like the description of the prophet Simeon about Jesus. Lorsque Simeon il attendait, il attendait la promesse d'Israël, de ce Messie qui devait venir. When Simeon was waiting for the promise, il attendait la promesse de voir um, le Messie avant de pouvoir mourir. God gave him the promise to see the Messiah before he would die. Et donc, dans cette espérance là, chaque jour il day. J'attends juste le Messie venir. I just wait for the Messiah to come. Pour pouvoir mourir en paix. So that I can <laughs> die in peace. <laughs> C'était la promesse de Dieu pour lui. This was the promise of God for him, for Simeon. Et c'est le temple. And it is the day Jesus will be presented to the temple. C'était à son huitième jour après sa naissance. Is eight day after his birth. Que Simeon va voir le Messie en question, le roi d'Israël. That Simeon will see the Messiah, the King of Israel. Celui qui faisait l'objet de l'attente de tout. For le roi des Juifs, the King of the Jewish. Et vous savez ce qu'il a prophétisé sur uh, le Messie, le roi des Juifs. And do you know what he prophesies on the Messiah, the King of the Jewish? You can read that story in the book of Luke. And when he will hold the Messiah in his arm to bless him for his circumcision, he will prophesize. And he will say to Maria, il va leur annoncer prophétiquement, he will announce them prophetically, la destinée de ces rois des Juifs, the destiny of that king of the Jewish, le Messie, the Messiah. Il dit, il sera un sujet, a subject of re revival, un sujet de relèvement pour certains, a subject of rising up for some, et également un sujet de chute pour d'autres. 
and also a subject of downfall for others. Jesus Christ, it will be salvation, la restoration, restoration la joie, joy, pour but for others, it sera un sujet de chute. It will be their downfall. The scandal. Their scandal. A sujet de condamnation. Paradoxal, hein? Paradoxal, yes. Dans une même personne. In one, in the same person. Il sera une bénédiction pour certains. It will be a blessing for some. Et une malédiction pour ceux qui les rejettent. Of course, a curse for those that reject them. Bénédiction pour ceux qui l'acceptent. And a blessing for those that accept him. Il sera un relèvement pour ceux qui croient et se confient en lui. There will be a rising up for those that Une occasion de chute pour ceux qui les rejettent et qui ne placent pas leur confiance en lui. And a downfall for those that reject him and do not place their trust in him. Jésus Christ est notre Golan. Jesus Christ is our Golan. Notre cité de refuge. Our city. Our city of refuge. Et ce qui est intéressant dans cette histoire de cette ville de refuge. And what is interesting in that in the story of that city of refuge. Se trouvait sur un territoire vraiment extraordinaire. Is that this city of refuge was found on a very extraordinary place. Bassan. Bashan. Et Bassan. Bassan lui-même. En hébreu veut dire fertilité. And Bashan in Hebrew it means fertility. The city of refuge. Qui est à la fois la captivité et la joie. That is at the same time both joy and captivity. Était situé sur un territoire fertile. It was found on a fruitful territory. Sur un territoire fertile. Et c'est ça l'œuvre que Christ a accompli pour toi et moi. And this is the work that Christ has accomplished for you and I. <laughs> Jésus Christ, comme j'ai dit, il est notre Colin. Il, la Bible dit dans Hébreu chapitre 12. The Bible says in Hebrew chapter 12. Le verset 2 et 3. Hebrew chapter 12 verse 2 and 3. Ayant le regard sur Jésus, les chefs et les consommateurs de la foi, qui, en vue de la joie qui lui était réservée, a souffert la croix, méprisé l'ignominie et s'est assis à la droite. Considéré en effet celui qui a supporté contre sa personne une telle opposition de la part des pécheurs, afin que vous ne vous lassiez point l'âme découragée. Looking unto Jesus, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising, despising the shame, and he sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. For consider him that endured such contradiction, and faint in your minds. Jésus est notre Golan. Jesus is our Golan. La Bible dit, ayant le regard fixé sur Jésus. The Bible says, looking unto Jesus. Avoir le regard fixé sur Jésus. Having your gaze fixed on Jesus. Placer sa confiance sur Jésus. Doesn't mean anything other than placing your trust in Jesus. Quand vous avez vos regards sur Jésus, When you are looking at Jesus, ça veut dire vous avez placé votre confiance en lui. It means that you have put your trust in him. Que vous vous confiez en lui. That you confide in him. Que vous vous attendez rien qu'à lui. Pour être la source de votre délivrance, de votre liberté et de votre joie. To be the source of your deliverance, your freedom, and your joy. C'est ce que 
les meurtriers involontaires qui fuyaient les vengeurs des sangs devaient aussi faire. This is what the un... Ils devaient chercher Golan. They needed to seek Golan. Ils devaient courir à l'éver Golan. They needed to run towards Golan. De la même manière que nous sommes invités nous aussi à avoir nos regards fixés sur Jésus. In the same way that we are also called to have our He is the author and the finisher of our faith. What does it mean, the chief and the author, the chief and the author? Chief means that he is the author. It is from him that we receive faith. Et c'est lui également qui rend parfait cette foi qu'il nous communique. And it is also lui-même en tant que Golan. He himself as Golan. Pendant qu'il était en train de souffrir. As he was suffering. Pendant qu'il était en train d'agoniser à la mort de la croix. Pendant qu'il subissait le poids de nos péchés, as he suffered the weight of our sin, pendant qu'il était accablé par nos transgressions, as he was weighted down by all our trans transgressions, vous savez, Jésus Christ n'était pas captif de ses péchés. You know, Jesus was not captive of his own sin. Yes. Captivité. I know that when we speak of ca captivity. Uh, on pense à beaucoup de choses. We think of many things. Vous voyez, quelqu'un qui est captif, ça veut dire que il est prisonnier, il est um, de celui qui domine sur lui. Someone that is captive is someone that is prisoner under the weight of the one that's dominate over him. Vous voyez, quand Jésus Christ était entre suffering at the cross. Il ne souffrait pas pour ses propres péchés. He did not suffer for his own sin. Il ne subissait pas le poids de ses propres péchés. He was not being weighted down for the weight of, of his own sin. Mais il subissait le poids de nos péchés, de tes péchés, de mes péchés. All of our sins. Pourquoi What? il avait accepté cette souffrance Why did he accept this suffering? Why did he find himself under the weight of sin? The Bible said that it was for the joy that was to come. He was seeing your Restauration. You are seeing your restoration and my restoration. Il voyait ton relèvement, mon relèvement. You are seeing your rising up and mine. Il voyait ta liberté, ta délivrance, ma délivrance. You are seeing your and my deliverance, our freedom. C'est ça, Golan. And that is Golan. D'un côté, il y a la captivité. And on the other side, there is joy. Jésus Christ a expérimenté les deux. And Jesus Christ experienced both. Il a été sous le poids, la captivité de la souffrance. Il a souffert. He was under the weight of suffering. He suffered. Pas pour ses péchés, mais pour nos péchés. Not for his own sin. But at the same time, there was joy. Sa joie, c'était de te voir être libéré, être restauré, être relevé. His joy was to see you being freed, being delivered, being restored. That's toi et moi, toi et moi, nous étions captifs. We're under the threat of the avenger of blood. He that should have condemned us for our sins. The avenger of blood. We are captives from sin. Our sins. We are under the weight of our own sins. On était dominés par nos péchés. We were dominated by our own sins. On était esclaves de nos péchés. We were slaves to our own sins. Mais il fallait 
Là, nous allons trouver le pardon, la restauration et la liberté. Where we would find forgiveness, restoration and freedom. La joie. And joy. La joie. Joy. Et la Bible dit. And the Bible says. En vue de la joie qui lui était réservée, a souffert. Et s'est assis à la droite du trône de Dieu. For the joy that was set before him, endured the cross, despising the shame, and he sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Jesus Christ has known suffering and humiliation. Not because of his own sins, but because of your and my sins. But the Bible says, après trois jours, after three days, hold them down. Ouais, ne pas les the grave could not hold them down. Il est sorti du He came out of the grave. Et la Bible dit, I didn't sit at his right. Il est rentré dans la joie du Père. He entered into the joy of the Father. Golan. Golan. Captivity. Captivity. Et joie. And joy. C'est ce que Jésus Christ veut faire pour toi et moi. This is what Jesus Christ wants to do for you. L'oppression et le poids. Every time you feel that you are under the oppression and the weight. Du péché et des attaques de l'ennemi. Of sin and the attacks of the enemy. Lorsque tu sens que tu es oppressed by the, man, the threat of the enemy, il y a une place de refuge. There is a place of refuge. Golan pour toi. It is Golan for you. Un endroit où Dieu veut te libérer de l'oppression et des attaques et des menaces. And the attacks of the enemy. Et de faire rentrer dans sa joie parfaite. And to make you enter into his perfect joy. De te faire rentrer dans son salut restaurateur. To make you enter into his restoring salvation. Lorsque tu te sens humilié, Jésus Christ veut être un relèvement pour toi. Jesus wants to help you rise up. À une seule condition. With one condition only. C'est d'avoir ton regard fixé sur lui. It's to be looking at him. C'est de fuir et d'aller à Golan. It is to run and to flee towards Golan. Hum? Il n'y a pas de délivrance ou de liberté de la captivité et de menaces de l'ennemi. There is no freedom or deliverance from captivity and threat of the enemy. En dehors de Golan. Outside of Golan, il n'y a pas d'endroit où tu vas trouver la paix. C'est seulement en Jésus Christ. But only in Jesus Christ. Lorsque tu te réfugies en lui. When you take refuge in him. Et que tu te reposes dans ce qu'il a accompli pour toi. And that you rest in what he has accomplished for you. C'est alors que tu vas passer. It is when you will pass. L'endroit où tu es sous l'esclavage et la domination du mal du péché. From the place of humiliation where you're un, where you're slave under the domination of sin and evil. Tu vas passer à un endroit où tu es restauré, libéré, délivré où tu peux te réjouir dans le Seigneur. You will then pass to a place where you're restored. Fermement que tous en tant qu'enfants de Dieu. And I strongly believe that all of us as children of God we need to learn how to take refuge in Christ. To put our trust in Him and His work. His work that is a salvation and restoring. His work that elevates what was brought down. Son œuvre qui apporte la liberté. His work that brings freedom. When I was looking at the sense and the meaning of word Golan, dans d'autres dictionnaires bibliques, 
in other biblical dictionaries, on parle des colonnes comme un mot. They speak of Golan as a word that means at the same time captivity and exodus. Vous savez, quand on parle de exode, you know when we speak of exodus, on voit la délivrance des enfants d'Israël. We see the deliverance of the children of Israel. Le moment où ils ne pleuraient plus. The time where they stopped shedding tears. Le moment où ils commençaient à se réjouir de la délivrance. From the delivering of the Lord. Il n'était plus dans, uh, sous le poids et le joug de la servitude et de l'esclavage. Where they were no longer, where they were no longer under the weight and the yoke of slavery in Egypt. Il n'était plus sous la domination de ces tyrans, pharaons. When they were no longer dominated by the tyrant Pharaoh. Mais maintenant, But now they were carried by the wings of God Himself. Qui les a de la he that delivered them from ser servitude. Voilà pourquoi, quand vous Exode, that is why when you look at the story of Exodus, Entonné par Miriam Marie, la sœur de Moïse. It was a song that was made and sung by Miriam Marie, the sister of Moses. La délivrance de l'Éternel. Dieu lui-même avait libéré son peuple de l'esclavage à la liberté. Our God Himself brought, it, brought His people from slavery to freedom. Golan, c'est ce lieu de transition, c'est lieu de passage. Golan is the place of transition. La liberté. Where you leave captivity and embrace freedom. Et d'ailleurs, pour quelqu'un qui fuyait l'évangile de sang. And by the way, for someone that was fleeing the avenger of blood. Il était considéré comme quelqu'un qui est considered as someone that was not free. Qui était loin de sa famille, loin de ses parents, loin de sa ville. He was far from his family, his parents, his city. Une qui était it was someone that was exiled. The city of refuge. Et cette ne pas voir sa famille, voir, uh, ses frères, And that person could not go back to see his family, his sibling, the people of his village. Death of the high priest. It is only when the high priest died que cette était libre. that that person became, became free. Vous Do you understand? And Golan is strictly speaking in itself the, the meaning of a city of refuge. Et donc, Golan nous parle de ces passages, de l'état de captivité, de servitude, d'esclavage, à l'état de restauration et de vie. And so go and speak to us about the transition from the state of slavery and captivity to the state of freedom, restoration and life. Il n'y a pas de liberté, de vraie liberté en dehors de Jésus Christ. There is no true freedom outside of Jesus Christ. Jésus Christ lui-même il a dit. Jesus Christ himself said. Si If the Son of Man sets you free, si il vous délivre if de la servitude du péché, if he delivers you from slavery and sin, vous allez être réellement libre. You shall be free indeed. La vraie is in God. La vraie liberté, true freedom, c'est en Jésus Christ. Is in Jesus Christ. Et nous devons pour cela trouver, nous réfugier en lui. And so for that we need to take refuge in him. Placer notre confiance en lui. Put our trust in him. Our gaze fixed on him. Arrête de promener des, des, des regards inquiets. Stop looking left and right, worry. And en train de te demander. Asking yourself. Uh, uh, qui vraiment me donnera la liberté. Who shall give me freedom? Qui me 
Who shall free me from all this oppression and all the threat of the enemy? My soul is trouble, troubled. I have no peace. There's a place where you can find true joy. That joy is that come from set, being set free. That freedom that is given by the work Jesus did at the cross. Do not discourage yourself, my brother. Do not discourage yourself, my brother. Consider him that endured such contradiction of sinners against himself, lest you be weird, weird and think in your mind. I remember in the prophecy of Simeon, <laughs> he said that Jesus Christ will be an object of contradiction. <laughs> Hope that Jesus Christ will be for you an object that brings you up and not down. I hope that he will be, not be a scandal or a downfall for you. He will be, a, he wants to be a cible de joie parfaite. He died at a cross for the goal of having your perfect joy. He was seeing your joy in a restoration. He was seeing your He was seeing your freedom and mine. He is our Golan. You know sometimes when I see the word Sometimes I wonder if we are understanding the lesson that God wants to give us as Christians nowadays. There are some Christians every day they are, they are linked to their radio, their television waiting for the government and the experts to take measures and uh, allow freedom. Many are even praying, God, please touch their heart so that we can have freedom like again, like once, like before. But we are doing it wrong. If you wait for a human being to give you freedom, then you are at the wrong door. Church of God, it is time to raise our heads and to fix our gaze upon Jesus. Because he is the one who gave us true freedom. <laughs> Place our complete trust in a human government. Hallelujah. Amen. Church of God. Et de fixer notre regard sur Christ. And to fix our gaze upon Christ. Vous savez? You know? Je vais terminer par là. And I will finish with this. Jésus Christ devant Hérode, devant le. Jesus Christ before Herod and Pilate, the representative of Rome. Vous savez, tous ces gens-là voulaient faire croire à Jésus Christ qu'ils avaient le pouvoir de lui donner la liberté. All those people wanted to make 
Jesus believed that they had the power to give him freedom. Just look at the way Pilate was speaking. Either, either free you or deliver you unto death. Jesus did not start to tremble. He did not start to say, please, Pilate, make me free. Jesus Christ knew that had the true power. His father had the last word for his life. Do not allow for me. Curse be the man that places trust in the other man. But sadly, when you see the people of God, even the church, they are putting their trust in human beings. But let us wake up, church of God. Let us We must understand that the kingdom of God is greater than the kingdom of men upon this earth. And the authority of God is above the authority of men. That his life was not in the hand of the Babylonian king. But his life was in the hands of the creator of heaven and earth. So we need to understand this church of God. Day is coming. We'll need to make a choice between trusting God or trusting man. Tu t'inclines devant la statue pour ta liberté, pour ta nourriture, pour ta, ta, ton bien-être. And there will be a time where the church will be persecuted and forced to either choose to bow before the statue, statue en faisant confiance en Dieu et d'accepter de souffrir, d'accepter d'être persécuté et maltraité. Or you refuse, you decide to trust God and accept to be persecuted to be persecuted. Amen. We need to understand, Church of God, that Et Christ is our God. And in the last days, this is the last city of refuge. It is the sixth one. Nous, de the, the story of humanity va se terminer au sixième jour. will end Because the seven days a day of rest. Man was created on the sixth day. And the reign of man would also end on the sixth day. It is prophetic. And the this number of men is six. And the number of the Antichrist is also six. We are at the sixth city. The refuge. It describes the situation that will happen in the end times. We'll be forced to make a choice. Entre faire confiance en Jésus et accepter de souffrir avec lui. Between, between trusting Jesus and accepting to suffer with him. Et élevé et régné avec lui. To finally be glorified and elevated and reign with him. Parce que le septième jour. Because the seventh day. C'est le jour des repos. Is the day of rest. C'est le règne de Christ, le mille ans. It is the reign of Christ, the thousand reign, the thousand. The seventh day always speak of the millennium. Where Jesus Christ will reign with the saints. Those that will have learned to trust him. They also sit on his right. Golan. 
is speaking to us about Christ. And he speaks to what Christ wants to do with you, I, and his church. May God help us. That the time has come to lift our gaze and to fix that gaze upon Jesus. Seigneur, merci pour ta parole. Lord, thank you for your word. Merci de, de, de encourager chacun de nous ce soir. Thank you to encourage each and every one of us notre tête. to raise our to not confine the circumstances and situation around us but to lift our head because our redemption approach. our salvation and deliverance are coming Lord Jesus you are our Golan you are our refuge we put our trust in you. You are our freedom. Because if the Son of Man sets you free, if he sets us free, we shall be free indeed. We shall be restored indeed. We shall be truly in Because they are the, Les because they say, the, those are the de delivered, Ceux qui sont delivered, those that are delivered, qui se that can truly rejoice, de la de la to go from suffering, from captivity, à la joie. to joy. Yeah. And Lord, merci parce que tu es notre protecteur. Thank you because you are our protector against any oppression, against any threat of the enemy. And for the one that is trying to attain our soul, you are our Golan. And in you, Lord, our life is fruitful. Our life produced in the same way that Golan was found on a fruitful place. Those that confide in you, Lord, are found on a fruitful place where, where their life can produce fruit. Back to many. And Lord, we want, we want to dwell in Golan. We want to dwell in Bashan. Where, Lord, our life will not be barren. Unfruitful, but instead it will be fruitful. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 On a fini notre série sur. Alors on va continuer avec les restes du livre de Josué. So now we can go with the next part of the book of Joshua. Que Dieu vous bénisse. May God bless you all. Et à mercredi prochain. And see you all next Wednesday. Amen. 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 Que Dieu vous bénisse. May God bless you all. Amen. Bonsoir, Maxime.